A proposed Alabama law requiring men to get vasectomies is getting national attention. Texas Senator Ted Cruz posted this tweet saying, quote, a government big enough to take you, uh, to rather to give you everything is big enough to take everything, literally. The bill would require men to get a vasectomy after the age of 50 or after their third child, whichever comes first. Representative Rolanda Hollis says it's in response to the abortion law. Way 31's Alexis Scott spent the day talking with men to see what they have to say about this proposal. Several men don't think this legislation will pass at all. They think getting snipped at a certain age is not the same as having the option to choose whether or not to go forward with the pregnancy. Let's say, for instance, you know, like I, I, I fall in love with a woman and she's still able to produce children, and I'm 50 years old and she wants to have a kid. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. This was Sage Wynn's reaction when he heard about the bill. It was just like many men I spoke with on Monday. State Representative Rolanda Hollis introduced it on Thursday as a response to the abortion law passed last year. Okay, hopefully it's thought provoking. It's obviously not going to pass. It's not even intended to pass. It's just intended to point out ridiculousness. Ben Tucker told me he understands this proposal is meant to get people talking about reproductive rights between men and women, but just thinks it's not fair to put an age on the procedure. Along with age and maximum number of children, if passed, men would have to pay for the surgery out of pocket. My first thought about it was that's a little strange uh, to just mandate that, I feel like. The abortion law passed last year makes performing abortions illegal, with a few exceptions. Though some men told me they disagree with the way the state went about it, they don't think the male equivalent will go very far. For whatever reason, those are considered less ridiculous. And I understand the emotional connotations associated, but uh, they're not necessarily well thought out. Right now, the bill is in committee. If passed, it will go into effect three months after it's approved. Reporting in Huntsville, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News. Hollis represents the Birmingham area. She released a statement after introducing the legislation. She said in part, quote, Alabama taxpayers have been forced to hand over more than two and a half million dollars in legal fees to the ACLU to fight unconstitutional attempts to restrict women's access to reproductive health care. And the majority party's continued attempts to restrict women's reproductive rights could cost Alabamians even more. Right now, last year's abortion law is stalled. Planned Parenthood and other groups filed a lawsuit shortly after it was signed.